Hello friends, my name is Richie. Welcome to Richie's Planet. Today I'll be showing you fun next website where you can practice your coding skills with Scratch. There's lots of free activities that you can do on it. Except there's one, it's called CodeSpark Academy. You can either ask your parent or your guardian to sign in for you or there's a button on the left that says schools you can click on that and then it'll show you what to do if you want to log in by yourself there's a game called flappy bird i modified it to make it santa claus flappy bird i'm going to show a little demo of how to use it this is where the activity will be shown and where what you coded will be shown also these are your blocks and this is your workspace next to the workspace button there will be a button that says start over you can click it to delete all you've added i'll be showing you a few important blocks that you have to know like this flapping a normal amount you can change it to random very small and small and so on flapping isn't really important but you still need to make sure it flaps at least the normal amount or very small scoring a point is what you can place it anywhere you want this is to end the game you can set its speed to fast very fast slow and very slow and random and normal so this is to set the background this one's to set the player this is to set the obstacle and set the what the ground looks like you can also change the size of the gap of the obstacles and you can set the gravity to any way you like what I used was setting the scene, setting the player, setting the obstacle, setting the gaps, setting the ground, and setting the gravity. One click is an important thing because you can either use it for your left click button on your computer or you can tap on the area for if you're on an iPad or a phone. The yellowish orange and the green blocks, you can't delete because they're important. One click, you have to add set speed and flap so you can do it. And then for this, there's no repeat loop. So you, in order to figure out how many types of points you want, you have to put this amount of blocks you want. Like I put here, one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to do a little demo of how to play the game. But it's important to click the run button or else it won't start. It will show you to tap or click so your thing starts moving. As you can see, on the top, the points keep changing as I pass the obstacle. If you forgot to put the end game button, you can simply press reset. So when run is to explain what it does right at the starting. So I'll do those changes right away. This is when you click it. So it, what's hap it happens when you tap or click with left click. These are when you hit the ground, hit an obstacle or pass one. That's the end of our video. Please like, share, and subscribe. One important thing, since we told YouTube it was a kid making the video, it blocked the comments. Please don't mind. But you can still like, share, and subscribe. Bye.